C. Lindelof videos AP Calculus. Find a tangent line that's parallel to an existing line, and you're going to find a lot on the AP Cal exam that they're going to test you in this weird way. They're not only going to ask you to find tangent lines through differentiation, but they're also going to ask you to do them in certain ways. They're going to ask you to find line normal, line perpendicular, line this, line that, line the other. So this is just one of the possibilities. Uh, this came right off one of the old multiple choice exams, and it says at what point on the graph of y is equal to 1 half x squared is the tangent line parallel to the line 2x minus 4y equals 3. Well, this kind of sucks of them. It's kind of crappy of them because this is not in um, slope-intercept form. So I'm going to have to rearrange this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to solve for y. Remember that lines that are parallel to each other have the same slope. So we have to find out what the slope of this line is. So as I do that, I'll get uh, negative 4y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. I'll divide everything by negative 4 and get y is equal to 1 half x minus 3 fourths. Is that right? I don't even care about this part of it, but I'm going to go ahead and do, I mean, this part right here of it. So I can see here, this is what I needed. Now this whole thing, this is what I needed. I needed to find out, whoa, what did I just do? I needed to find out what the slope of this line was because my tangent line has to have a matching slope. So slope of line. So there's the slope of the line that we already have. Now we have to differentiate this piece up here. So I'm going to differentiate this function and get that y prime is equal to, right, uh, 2 times 1 half is 1x. So it's just y prime is equal to x. So the slope of my function, this function right here, for any given x value, is x. So I'm going to say now, I'm going to say x is equal to the slope of the line that they gave me. It's equal to 1 half. Well, that's interesting because there's part of the answer. So this is that x value. Remember here, they said at what point. They didn't say at what x value. They said at what point. So from here, you have to go back to the original function and plug it in. So, so far, for our answer, we have it's the point 1 half something. So I'll go back here and I'll say y is equal to, I'm just plugging this into the function, 1 half x squared. I'm going to plug this 1 half back into this. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 1 half is 1 eighth. So that gives us the point 1 half 1 eighth. And that, was, and that answers that question. All right? This is all very, very doable stuff for you guys. I know that you can do great at it. you got to really think about what they're asking you. It's all going to be relatively simple, believe it or not, but they bury it in a pile of, yeah. So be patient, read carefully, and make sure that you ask the question, you answer the question that was asked of you. All right? Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.